Natalie Sidesurf here, Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm going to show you how I made a SpongeBob SquarePants cake. My leg! Guess what, everyone? SpongeBob SquarePants, the first 100 episodes, SpongeBob SquarePants, the next 100 episodes, and SpongeBob the Musical Live on stage are all available on DVD for the holidays. And I'm making a cake because this is wonderful news. If you're new here, please subscribe to this channel because we put out a new cake video every week. And let me know if you like this video by liking this video because your feedback is extremely helpful, you guys. So let's get started. Here I have vanilla cake and I am stacking the layers with bright green buttercream. I'm adding dowels through the top of the cake and this is going to help keep the layers from slipping and sliding, just making it easier for me to carve. This cake is going to be of SpongeBob, who is square, but he's also a cartoon, so I'm carving the cake so that it tapers towards his bottom. His bikini bottom. <laughs> this is going to make him just a little less rigid. Then I just slather on some buttercream and I smooth it out with an offset spatula and a plastic scraper. The first thing I'm going to cover are his square pants with brown modeling chocolate. I just wrap it around the base of the cake and then I do the same with a layer of yellow chocolate, which is the sponge part, if you will. So unless you've spent the last 20 or so years living in a pineapple under the sea, you probably know that SpongeBob SquarePants is an absolute phenomenon. It aired in May of 1999 and it's still insanely popular. There's even a Broadway musical. That's right, SpongeBob SquarePants, the Broadway musical, premiered in 2016, and it has songs by some pretty famous individuals. Like, I'm not kidding. I'm talking David Bowie, Brian Eno, The Flaming Lips, They Might Be Giants, and like plenty of other super talented people. It's crazy. And I haven't actually seen the musical yet, so I am really excited that it's now available on DVD. To replicate SpongeBob's characteristics, I'm just adding pieces of modeling chocolate to the cake and I'm blending them in with my tools. When people see my cakes on social media or Reddit, they typically assume that I use fondant to cover my cakes. But if you've been subscribed to this channel for a while now, then you know that I use modeling chocolate like 99% of the time. The reason is because I find it to be just a lot easier to sculpt and blend than fondant. Personally, I also think it tastes better. So if you ever see one of my cakes on that r slash fondant hate subreddit, then you can let them know that these cakes are not made with fondant. <laughs> and now we are going to move on to setting up the scenery for this cake. So right now, it's the Christmas season, so I'm giving SpongeBob a fun Christmas theme. Starting with a layer of buttercream on the cake board to replicate snow. The creator of SpongeBob SquarePants, Steve Hillenburg, was actually a marine biologist before going back to school to study animation. So given his background, the early design of SpongeBob was closer to resembling a real sea sponge, which is more round and a little bit more organic. But while working out the character's personality, he drew inspiration from the light-hearted square performers, people like Jerry Lewis and Pee Wee Herman, Charlie Chaplin. So the creator changed the design to resemble a kitchen sponge because the character SpongeBob is both figuratively and literally square. <laughs> it's very clever, very cute. The snowman is made of chilled red velvet cake balls that are stacked and covered in vanilla buttercream snow. I know what you're thinking. But Natalie, if SpongeBob lives under the sea, then how is he sitting in the snow building a snowman? Well... Anyway, I'm finishing up some of the festive details and then we'll move on to the final phase, which is painting.
adding some highlights and some shadows with food color, along with some patterns for his scarf. Because SpongeBob SquarePants is a cartoon, there's not really a lot of hand painting on this one. I like those bright, vibrant colors. I'm also adding a little bit more snow to introduce an additional texture. So to make this snow, I just ran some shredded coconut through a food processor, and it creates this fine powder that I'm sprinkling all over the cake and cake board. How do you guys feel about coconut? Do you guys like it? Because I honestly, I love it. I think it's delicious. I know some people are a little iffy on the coconut, but I think it's good. And there you have it, a SpongeBob SquarePants cake. How about we sprinkle some powdered sugar snow on this festive dessert? <laughs> Holy moly, the snow is really coming down. <laughs> this is a blizzard. Just brush some of that off and uh, it's time to cut the cake. The sponge cake. <laughs>